Good morning. This is Kathleen at My Alabama Farm Life, and I'm in Maui. That little bird woke me up this morning, although I did wake up about 3 o'clock because 3 a.m. Hawaii time is 8 a.m. Alabama time. So I actually slept a little late this morning. But I was managed, I managed to be able to go back to sleep. And then the birds woke me up. I haven't seen them yet, but I can't wait until I do. So last night my daughter picked me up from the airport about eight o'clock and she got this little B&B. &B. It's a, a nice little place, uh, very reasonable. And we spent the night here. And it actually has this beautiful little porch. And I am really loving sitting here listening to the birds. But if you look off to my right, you can see the ocean. The ocean is right there. All I have to do is just walk out the door and walk probably not even a quarter of a mile right there. And now that the sun's out and I can see better, there is an avocado tree right outside the balcony. Isn't that not beautiful? Our first adventure on Maui is going to be the road to Hana. And now that the sun is up, I can actually see what these birds are that are flying all over the place. These are mina birds. And they seem to be the most common bird I've seen so far here on Maui. So we are headed east to Hanna Highway. It is absolutely beautiful and these pictures just don't give it any justice. This was pretty cool. We passed an old sugarcane mill, but I don't think they're growing sugarcane anymore. So we reached our first destination, which is Paia, and we stopped at a little store and had breakfast. We stopped at Island Fresh and my daughter Erin, she had the burrito, breakfast burrito, and I had the avocado toast, which was really good. I really enjoyed my meal. The weather was perfect for eating outside, but what I enjoyed the most was the huge old mango tree that was there in the center of the patio area and dining area. It was just a beautiful old tree. In fact, I am just totally amazed about how many old mango trees or how large these mango trees are. They're just all over the place growing wild here. I am totally amazed about how beautiful it is here. But when we finally got to the road to Hana, it was even more beautiful and more lush. The road here is very narrow and in some places will only allow one car to go through and it is full of switchbacks. And along with the switchbacks, there are tons of waterfalls here. I could not believe how many waterfalls I saw as we drove down this road. I'd have to say that one of the oddest things that I saw driving on this road was this little animal that looked kind of like a weasel or a marten. But after I did a little research, come to find out, Maui, in fact, many of the islands here have a problem with mongoose. Um, the little things are just all over the place and they are eating a lot of the indigenous birds. So it's a real problem here. Well, we did stop a few times and one of the first places that we stopped at was a little gift shop called Halfway to Hana. And a lot of the little places here are very renowned for their banana bread. And I went ahead and I bought myself a loaf of banana bread. And I have to say it was really good, but it's just banana bread. <laughs> but I did eat it and it was delicious. And this little stop had an overlook and it also had a bathroom. Not the cleanest place in the world, so if you have tissues with them, bring them with you. But the view was absolutely stunning. It was just beautiful. Oh my God, isn't that beautiful?
The next place that we stopped was Nahiku Market. Um, they have a high-end gift shop here with local items. But we stopped for the latte. My daughter Erin and I each got a mocha latte. It was delicious. It was also pretty cool to see all the cows that they are raising here on the island. My daughter says they are the happiest cows she has ever seen. So one of the next places that we stopped at was the lava tube. Now that was pretty cool. It was a cave system that was created by moving lava. Well, it was an okay hike through the cavern. Um, it's very wet down there, very dark. I got dripped on a lot. My glasses fogged up. Um, my daughter kept insisting it was really cool down there, but I was really hot. I think it had a lot to do with the elevation because you know I'm a sea level person and we are actually up in the mountains. I'd have to say even though it wasn't the most pleasant of adventures it was an adventure I was so thankful that we went through it again a lot of cool things to see and I would highly recommend it. Another really cool thing we saw were the painted eucalyptus or what they're called here in Hawaii are the rainbow eucalyptus. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, as the bark peels off, it exposes the green of the tree and they are actually very beautiful and very unique. Another place that we stopped was the black sand beaches. I uh, tried to pronounce the name of the beach several times, but I just couldn't get it right. So I'm just gonna skip this one. But the views here were absolutely beautiful and we spent um, probably about 30 minutes there walking the trails. It is gorgeous here. There was also this really cool bird I saw here. This is a zebra striped dove. These are absolutely beautiful and I couldn't get real close to them before they got spooked and ran off. So I was very happy to get the few pictures that I did. So this is an actually very beautiful place, but they're very cautious of how many people they let into the park. So you have to get reservations to get into this park. And our reservation was from three to six, but I think we left probably closer to four. So from here, we headed back down Hannah Highway back towards Paia.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the drive on the highway to Hana. It was very beautiful and I'm so glad that my daughter took me on this absolutely gorgeous adventure. You guys have a blessed and joyous day. Aloha.